Bradley Juby TV proudly presents. It's football time in Oklahoma. Welcome to the Oklahoma Sooner Football Vlog. The Oklahoma Sooner Football Vlog. Home of the seven-time national champions. The most epic and brutal team in college football. The one and only Oklahoma Sooners. There's only one Oklahoma. Well, how's it going, Sooner football fans and Jubitarians? This is Bradley Juby, and this is your Oklahoma Sooner football vlog. For this week's game against the TCU Horn Frogs, who are coming to Norman. And hopefully, Oklahoma takes care of business. Because this is a top 10 matchup. So, we are going to expect a lot of fireworks in this particular game. Now, the Bedlam game was wild, of course. And about four weeks ago, the Red River Shootout was wild. But, well... I'm expecting a wild game this Saturday in Norman, 7 o'clock on Fox or FS1. Regardless, it is going to be, well, a slobber knocker, to say the least. But we all know that the big advantage for this one belongs to OU because we have the best quarterback in the nation right now in Baker Mayfield. He is going to be the ex factor in this. Assume that uh, that they don't get, well, that TCU doesn't get a targeting foul against him like they did two years ago and knock him out of the game, you know, which it better not happen, but, but regardless, this, this team, well, this offense at least, is going to be firing on all cylinders, and they're going to have to if they want to win this game. So do not, do not take this TCU team lightly, Sooners. There's a reason why they're the number eight team in the country. Now, now, I know I've pretty much said this every single week since the last few weeks, but we are going to have to, have to, have to, have to, have to, have to, have to play some defense. If we do not play defense in this game, TCU is going to tear us apart. They have the offense to do so. And they have a pretty good quarterback, Kenny Hill, who he picked us apart last year. If you saw that TCU game, but then again, Mayfield did pick TCU apart last year. But none of that adds up because this is 2017. What happened last year? Let's keep last year. Oh, and there's Jaron over there. Okay, um, well, this is uh, the Oklahoma Sooner football vlog, and... Uh, I've got Jaron Cook. I'm at my church right now, and he's going to say hi. What's up, uh, Jubitarians? Um, what do you want me to say, Brad? Uh, ask what your thoughts about this particular game, about the TCU game. Ooh. What do you got to predict? Um, I'm going to predict that OU wins the game and doesn't move anywhere on the, uh, on the rankings. Well, we kind of want to <laughs> move up in the rankings because we're number hey. five right now. Yeah, I know. We want to get to at least a top four spot because if we get a top four spot, we can go to the playoffs. You think we can you think we can make it in the playoffs? If we beat TCU. That's it all right. starts with TCU. Mm -hmm. okay. What are your predictions? Did you already tell them? Uh, I haven't told got to that part yet. But oh, okay. Anyway, Jaron, do you think this defense is going to step up or are they just going to flake out like they have know. the last few games? OU secondary has not been shown out lately. Tell me about it. Yeah, so hopefully it's not just going to be a back and forth like the OU OSU game. Oh, we don't want that now, do we? No, uh uh, none of that. Yeah. Uh, what about the crowd? Do you think the crowd's going to be on fire tonight? I mean, sorry, Saturday night? Oh, yeah. Crowd's definitely going to be litty. 
Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. Yeah. Yep. Even Baker called out the crowd. Yeah, he did. Baker's a savage. Oh, yeah. He is salty. Mm-hmm. And we're going to need some savage this Saturday. Yeah, we are. Because we're going to gig those horn frogs. Yeah, we are. We're not going to take them uh, lightly. All right, you got any shout-outs for... Uh, shout out my girlfriend. I love her. Aww. Shout out Ricky. Uh, D- shout out hey, all. Ricky, do you uh, subscribe to Bradley Juby TV? Do you yes, have a YouTube you. account? Well, if you don't have one, get one. Okay, thank you, Jaron. Thanks, Juby. It's good to see you, dude. Okay. Well, just my bro, Jaron Cook. Um, and about a few more um, additions to this. Um, Jesse Salazar from OKC, the Texas Tech fan. It's been a week and a half, and you still have not given me a boomer sooner. I thought we agreed. We had a deal. Uh, Okay, yeah, there's a little echo because I'm right next to a metal building here. But, uh, anyway, um, I think keys of the game is, uh, you know, I think Jordan Thomas might be hurt, and Trey Norwood might be in his place. So uh, maybe Trey Norwood will step up, and we'll actually, and he'll actually be the answer we need at secondary. All right, don't forget, Will Johnson will have to sit out the first half of this game because he got ejected late in the Bedlam game for targeting. So, yeah, that was pretty bad. Anyway. Some other keys to this game. Um, Marquise Brown, whatever you did in the Bedlam game, keep doing it. Because I'm telling you, Baker, you get Marquise Brown open, and CeeDee Lamb, and Demetri Flowers, and Mark Andrews, you get those guys open, and don't forget Jeff Bidette, too. He's, He's pretty awesome. You get those guys open, game over for TCU. Those Horned Frogs are going to get gigged big time. Um... Defense, please, 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 please. Blitz. Get pressure on that quarterback. I know you can, Obo, Kuanquo. You're the best we got. And please cover those receivers. I know you can. So, Mike Stoops, please put a game plan together. A real game plan on this TCU. Because this Big 12 championship does hang in the balance. In addition to Baker Mayfield's Heisman hopes. National title, Heisman, and Big 12 on the line this Saturday. So get it done. Okay, my prediction. I believe OU... I'll go ahead and say OU 45, TCU 35. Um... I can't believe I'm just picking them just to win by, no, by a touchdown. I've been doing that the last few weeks. So, uh, well, I guess this is just how things have gone with this team. It's likely going to be back and forth. And I know it may make for exciting football for some, but for me, it just tears me apart. Tears me apart. So... If we play some defense, then TCU, they're going to have to take a long drive back down I-35, crying to their mommies, and regretting that they never joined the Big 12 in the first place. Okay, well, that'll wrap this vlog up. This is Bradley Juby. Until Sunday, I should have a post-game vlog on Sunday. But uh, anyway, Boomer Sooner beat TCU. This has been the Oklahoma Sooner Football Vlog, a presentation of Bradley Juby TV. Boomer Sooner!